<laughs> Hi guys, I'm back because of this little thing, the MacArthur head. Long time no see and uh, welcome to a new video and I got a box and what is in this box? A PCB and this PCB is the MacArthur head had hardware attached on top so this little PCB here in my hands can be put on a Raspberry. There is also a voltage supply if you do not want to power it via your Raspberry itself or vice versa you can power it with this uh, 12 volt supply you can also power your Raspberry and there are some accessories in this box. Um, the accessories um, are quite helpful. So there is for example a bunch of connectors so that it's easy to get wires in to the PCB. There are some screws inside. The cool thing on the head is that you can still mount another layer on top. For example your DAISY AIS um, PCB. Both are from Wegmet. We will mention this later on again. From Wagmet, but for Open Marina developed. Um, so it's an Open Marina project, and this is the main PCB, the MacArthur head you see here on their homepage. You know that Open Marina also um, is pushing Open Plotter, and of course, these two work together perfectly because here on this PCB, you grab all the necessary data from GPS, from AIS, from EMEA 0183, from EMEA 2000 C talk and so on so really a perfect uh, piece to get all data into your system and then also to distribute it so the pcb offers several protocols uh, and the good thing is it has two and mia 0183 um, connectors to separate ones because as you know on NMEA 2000 you can have multiple sources and uh, on NMEA 0183 only one source and multiple listeners. So uh, it's good that, are, uh, that uh, here are two connected. You can also connect your Mayana AIS base kit if you own one. So it's the antenna with some electronics in that you can not only receive but also transmit AIS data and it's not certified i think but um, yeah it's a cheap solution also i square c is attachable or connectable without going back to the original pins of the raspberry that's quite nice um yeah and the protocols which you saw here there are some yeah parts i mentioned it earlier uh, which helps you to assemble it and also to connect uh, the external wires and uh, this is how it looks like if you mount it on top of your Raspberry. But this is only one layer. You can even add another layer. You can see this here because of the pin block which is going through. You can, for example, put the DAISY IIS head on top. There is already a nice documentation available um, which explains how to yeah, connect everything, um, all the pins and IOs. Uh, also how you can construct several floors, which means that you really put another PCB on top. So this one is a display and on top on the display the Raspberry, on top the MacArthur head and you can even put on the fourth floor the DAISY uh, head, which is really nice so that you have several components together here and maybe we will do it. I'm not sure if I will use a screen to test it. I'm interested in that but currently it's first of all Raspberry, MacArthur and Daisy Head. Yeah, power management, we spoke about this, configuration and open plotter, we come to this but today we will make it a bit more simple but uh, today we will also only look on NMEA 081 0183 so I will do a make a first test with a GPS USB interface to see if we get this in and out and in again. Let's check this and start with assembling. So I will open one Raspberry I have here uh, lying around and we will just put the 
um, the uh, MacArthur head on top and I will connect a USB mouse just uh, as a USB input device which delivers and mirror data. Here I have a mouse connected, a USB GPS mouse. Um, you see this already flashing some signals because I also did some wires and some tests, but we come to this. What you can see here is just a simple setup, the Raspberry, the MacArthur head and this GPS mouse. And that's all. Let's take a look now at Raspbian. Okay, so when we want to use Enmia 0183, we need of course a Raspberry, I have Raspbian installed the latest version and um, it says that we have to enable the UART 3 and 5. So when we have open plotter later we can do this with uh, using the open plotter uh, UI but I started without an UI so we have to edit the config.txt on the newest version the path did change Let's take a look and when we go down on our config file you see that I already enabled UART 3 and UART 5. When you enable UART in general in Raspi config only this line will pop up so that the UART 1 is enabled um, but we need UART 3 and 5. This is only possible via changing or modifying this file. And here you see, by the way, that also my one wire interface is enabled. Also, this is not important now, only these two lines. You have to reboot now. Um, I did this already. And so I get the UART interface. So on LSUSB, you can see the U blocks here. This is my GPS source. And when we take a look into our different interfaces, you can see all the different um, connections, also our serial interfaces. So here you see zero, this is the first one, and this is my USB um, in this case because it's mounted at the first serial interface. And you see already that three and five are available. These are the two uh, inputs and also outputs of our MacArthur head, which we enabled a second ago by enabling the UARTs. But let's first listen to our um, USB interface. So this is also now a serial interface because the driver is mounting it as a serial. And when you do this, you can listen on the serial input and you see all the different commands here, which uh, are Enmia commands by our uh, GPS mouse. If you're familiar with my videos, you know that I like Node Red. And for our first try, yes, we come to Open Plotter, but for our first try, we will use Node Red. So I installed Node Red on my Raspberry where the MacArthur head is connected. And it's really simple. Yeah, so you just uh, take um, the, we just need, yeah, let's say three nodes, I think, the serial in node and you have to select your port. So I already created a GPS port, which is nothing else than our TTYACM0, which we saw before with the according port rate. And um, we connect a debug node, deploy it, and you already see all the different um, NMIR notifications are coming in. Now we will just simply filter on one of these notifications with a switch node and we say um, consists and we take one of the NMIR uh, headers and we just put it in between. Of course you can also filter on several but we just take one and only this one is now getting through. And what we want is to send it to our NMIA 0183 exit. That is the first task. So we take another serial node, but the serial out. And we take the UR3. I already created this, which is the TTYAM A3. And that's all again. So we just simply connect it and deploy it. 
And when we now take a look at our um, PCB, our MacArthur PCB, we see that data is going out already. Even if nothing is connected, it just notice that we sent something to the output. Now we set another serial in node and we take the UART5. So same as usual, uh, but of the 5 this time. And we want to connect this to our debug node. And there shouldn't be anything because uh, there is nothing connected. Let's uh, check this. So it's nothing in there. But now let's connect the wires of our NMIA output to our NMIA input. And let's uh, take a look what happens. So we are now connecting the output of the first NMIA on the input of the second in here and you see we get a yellow receive signal and some data. Now we want to do a last thing. We want to change something in our message. So we connect this before we send it out. Uh, change node, we need to set it to a replace or change and we will take the uh, head GPGGA and set it to, oh, let's call this surreal. We deploy it and you can see we get the surreal information. Let's place a second debug node. We can take the same one. So what we get from here so you see that's what we are sending, that's what we are receiving. So we can change and mirror data easily already now with this PCB. Okay, uh, last thing we want to do is to connect a one wire sensor, a temperature sensor, in this case really the one mentioned in the documentation, the DS18B20. And you see the wiring here, we did the same, just connect one sensor, you can connect multiply, but we just connected one. And there's one thing we didn't solve at the beginning. The default one wire interface is using the GPIO 4 pin, which is an issue. This is uh, here described here as well, because if you use GPI 4, um, it is conflicted with your UART 3. So we change it and they suggest to use which pin do they suggest 19. So we edit again our config.txt file here, move to the line enable, oh here dt overlay w1 gpio, this is our wire one or one wire interface. In this case it's the wrong gpio, it is in conflict even with the uart3, so we just change it and you just add the gpio pin you want to set and this is 19 here in this case and you we just save it and we have to reboot okay after reboot we can check if there are any um, one wire devices by using the list command of this special directory because the Raspberry will search automatically on the bus which we configured for pin 19 and it finds in this case one device and this is the device ID. So we switch back to node red and we need to install a node for our sensor and I will take this one here it's already five years old but it's not much has changed so just take this one I think it works so we install it and after installation we get this new note which we need to trigger let's put a debug note on it and something to trigger it deploy and when we start it we get a reply 
and this is the current temperature hopefully where's my sensor i just put the sensor now in my hand i mean we could just trigger this from time to time but you can already see that it is going up this note i think it also um offers the option to set array by the way if there are more than one sensor because this is a bus system you would also get more replies i have just one connected now and when you well, deploy it of course when you set this array you get some more information the id this is the one we saw also in the raspberry directory of course our master uh, yeah the this is not one part of it, but it's also the family type and the temperature. So if you want to know more, okay, but we just want to see the temperature. And yeah, so my hand is still warming the sensor. If I leave it alone, it should drop now. Takes, of course, a few seconds until it gets the new temperature. Okay, I did set it to an interval so that the temperature is uh, read out every second. And you see, it is working quite well with our one-wire interface. Well, guys, this was our first test of the Open Marina WECMAT MacArthur head. I really enjoyed it because I like really the, yeah, the ease of use. You just have serial protocols mainly or some one-wire uh, drivers. I think it will be a fun and open plotter. We do this later. One remark, I forgot to mention that. Uh, um, Raspberry Pi 3 wouldn't be the right choice because you don't get a NIA 0183 and that's a pity really yeah, if you don't have uh, this available. So it's a Raspberry 4. I think the 5 is also not fully supported right now, not sure uh, though, but I gu guess this will be the, the yeah, biggest choice in the future because with the power open plotter will run much better especially open cpn but all this will come so this was our first little look on the macarthur head and let's check out the future functionalities because i will mount my daisy head next time on it and afterwards i want to uh, yeah translate my Enmir wind sensor data to my autopilot so um, stay tuned see you next time have a great day see you next time